Hi, I'm Nathan Garcia, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how most businesses fail online. A lot of people try digital marketing, and at some point, they just give up. They don't maintain consistency, and they get frustrated with the results, and it's usually because of the technology itself. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you three core principles to help you avoid failing online. And this is built off of the results of the customers that I've dealt with, and some of the problems that I've had to help solve. So the first reason that people fail online is because they don't get enough traffic to their website. Oftentimes people will build a website and they think that they're just gonna start getting phone calls and getting customers and life is going to be great. But what they don't take into account is getting people actually to their website. It's no different than you setting up a shop, setting up a retail brick and mortar store. If you were to set that up in the middle of a field, no one is going to know about you. No one is going to come to your website. So what you would prefer to do is to set it up at the corner of a busy intersection, right? You wanna have a lot of people coming, just passing by throughout their day who are more often to stop in. And so that's what you can do with your online website is to get traffic to your website. Now this traffic can come from you giving Google enough data to direct people who are searching for what your company offers to your website. But what's more common is that you will pay for traffic often through a channel like Google, like YouTube, or like Facebook. When you have the ability to pay for traffic, what you can do is define how much you're willing to pay to get people to come to your store or come to your website. And if you know how much a visit is worth, then you can comfortably say you're willing to pay a certain amount to get somebody in the door. And this can be very powerful for you. So in order to avoid failure online, make sure that you um, know how to get traffic to your website. The next reason that businesses fail online is because they don't convert the traffic that they do get. So when people visit the website, the trip usually ends just with gathering information. Most companies only have their website set up as a digital brochure. So they tell you about who they are, how to contact them, a little bit about the projects that they've done, but that's it. They don't try to educate you to tell you about the different materials that you need to select or the process that they take people down. They don't typically try to educate you about how their company is different, what they're offering, how it benefits you. And by missing out on this opportunity, what they'll end up doing is losing uh, customers. And so what your website needs to do is to focus on conversions. You need to focus on the ability to collect contact information and then present an offer to that, that individual. So once you begin to um, take customers down that process, take visitors down that process, now it'll make it a lot easier for you to grow your business. But also if you have a sales team, you can take out a lot of the legwork for those guys to qualify prospects and to set appointments. So this is really great and this is where the, the value comes in into investing in a website because what you can do is create a sales machine. You know, talking about the first part of this video where you get traffic, if you can get that traffic and get them to convert and to commit to an appointment with you, that can be very powerful for your business. The final reason why businesses fail online is that they don't maintain consistency. It's so easy with the speed of technological change to get um, just to get down in the dumps, to get unmotivated, to just feel like this is too much. Because the reality is, is that each of these platforms have different tools and these tools have their own um, learning curve to really get up to speed and use them proficiently. So it's pretty easy to get the wind taken out of you because you can try something and it doesn't work. And then when you have money involved, it can be even more of a hang up. And so that's why it's so valuable to get coaching and to get training from people who have done this already and can assist you when you get stuck. Because once you have that type of assistance, what you'll find is that you'll get to your goal a lot faster and this can help you grow your business. It can help you service more customers. It can do a lot of good for you. And so if you found this video interesting and you'd like more help, I put together a free training where I walk you through how to build an online presence, an online machine, and how that can be beneficial to your company. So in this 90 minute training, I'm going to walk through how to use Google AdWords, 
how to use Facebook ads and how to use email marketing in order to grow your business. Often what I see is that people try each of these different um, platforms separately. And as a result of that, they fail. But when you link them all together so that you have a process to take people down, it can be very powerful because now you're visiting them in multiple channels, you're giving them data or you're giving them messaging in different formats, whether it be video or social media posts or written word and emails, or even a hard mail if you wanna mail somebody uh, something, it can be very, very powerful for you. So I would like to share that with you in the free training that I put together and you can register for that training by clicking the link below.